Okay, so what we're going to do now, the rocks have set, we've carved them, we've covered them with a bit of dust, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a yard room, and then give them a good sweep off. The other things we need, house brush, a couple of smaller brushes, some black oxide, some yellow oxide, and some green oxide. And then we're going to stain some of these cracks in the rock, so it ages them a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to age the rocks using oxides. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the rock. Because I've found if you go to it with a with a dry rock, you start to put black oxide and water with it, you get stripes. It ends up looking like a zebra. So what we want is you put the, the water on, it softens it, uh, wets it enough so that when you put the water, the oxides on, they don't get in there solidly and look like stripes. So now while it's wet, like the watercolour, come through. This is black oxide and water, quite strong. See how it spreads along? Put it into the into the cracks. Splash some dots here and there into the cracks. A lot of this will wash off, but then you'll get quite a bit stain in inside areas. So just keep splashing a bit here and there. I won't put too much on here because this is a seat. <laughs> Might be a bit of a shock for somebody. Now yeah, I'm going to come through it with a bucket of water. I'll just soften it off a bit. If you feel it's a little bit strong, just come through, let it. Let it drain down. It's on rocks, you can get these natural staining lines where it all runs down. You still get some that's soaked into the rock. So you just soften off the edges. Because it's been damp straight away before you start it, like you would if you splashed it onto dry. Okay, so I need to add some green and yellow mixed together, oxide. Splash it on, so it's like it's a bit of um, moss or lichen. Try not to do a big line. You can always brush it in here and dab. Get bigger areas. I'm not going to put it on the seat because I don't want somebody coming along and putting their nice trousers on here and finding it's <laughs> suddenly gone green. Okay, so a bit of that. Now let's get a bit of black again. When you look at natural rocks, you'll see there's lichen and there's some mold spots on them. Okay, you can always come back through. See, it just softens it down a bit. And that's going to do it. We'll come back later on and use some other methods to get moss growing on them. So that's the next one. So put it in the holes, in the cracks. Yeah, pop it in the holes. I've dampened this rock first. See, if I just came through on dry rock, that's what you're going to get. It's going to stay like a solid line. So then, it's still a very solid line, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get my bucket of water, and I'm going to soften out the edges. Let it run down in places, soften, see how it softens it up. Now these lines are too strong, hit the top edge, Soften it out. This is where you need to wear old clothes because you get splashed with black oxide, it doesn't come out. So old clothes are an essential. Okay, so you can see I've softened all those off. Now I'm going to get my green next. Let's just get a little bit of black again and just give a few splashes here and there. You know how rocks go, there's dots of, you can use white and everything too with this, you know, don't be afraid to go 
do a few white blobs. You can see uh, this taken with this white on rocks. Okay, a bit of water. Splash it around, soften those up a bit. So what's that colour you just used? This is green oxide and yellow oxide mixed together. Just to make a natural green. Green straight out of the packet tends to be a bit too um, unnatural. 